Hey guys, it's time to do a flip through for my 2018 Erin Condren. I am so excited to do this flip through. This is actually my very first completed Erin Condren uh, planner for the year. I have some, I have, this year has been more, as my word was for this year, discover. I have discovered a lot. I have discovered what kind of planet in this I really do love and how my layout is, which it took me almost the whole year to really figure it out to what I really loved, but I did. I discovered I had strength that I didn't know I had this year. So this year has been a year of discover. And I mentioned if you haven't watched my uh, plan with me, for my 2000, my first plan with my Erin Condren, or as I call it, my weekly setup at my Erin Condren uh, 2019, you will know my new word for this year is going to be believe because I, I've got to believe what I discovered and, and grow from it. Okay, so let's get on with this. Let's see here. I did, I never honestly set any of that stuff up, but then I did do the notes in this section. You'll see I only did it like for half the year. I just never used this. So I was like, why am I buying these notes kits when I'm not using it? So, okay, here is my January monthly. This was my birthday monthly. This kit was from Planning World. I, this, this would almost have to be one of my favorite monthlies. Monthlies I have worked on all year to get it to look right to me. This one, I think, honestly, the very first one was the one I liked the most. But of course, it could be because it's my birthday month and I loved these the, the full. Okay, and then this is the first week in January. This is the kit from Poppy Willico. Uh, this is, as you can tell, I do a little bit of white space, and I do it. have done it a little different all year long. I do love this one. I love Poppy Willico's stickers. And then the second one for the year was from a GP uh, Sticker Studio. I love the kit and everything, but her stickers are so thick. And plus, it's from Australia, and the shipping is, oh, man. But I did love the kit. Baby, it's cold outside. And let's go on to the, this was my birthday week. Oh, man, I loved this kit from Planet World for my birthday. And I loved it. Tanya was here this uh, during this week, and so it was a wonderful week, all in all. And Tanya is going to come this year for my birthday, so I'm so excited about it. And then, the week after my birthday, this is a Caress Press kit. I love the kit. I love her stickers. Now, Caress Press, I think she's changed uh, her matte paper now where it's not so I mean, sticky or whatever. But on these, when you stuck these stickers down, they're stuck. They're stuck. There is no removing it unless you have undo. But that's okay. But I just loved it. And like I said, I'm still, you know, I... Didn't leave any white space in between the lines like where the kit comes. But and but I, I love the layout. And then here's February's note section. As you see, like I said, I didn't use it. And this this February uh, monthly kit was, I believe, from Nikki Plus 3. I don't care. I, don't, I, I, just, I, I love the kit. I just didn't care how it all came together. I put it all together. But, um, like I said, the monthlies uh, is a struggle for me. And then the first week of February, I used a Poppy Willico kit. Oh, this kit was just so pretty with the silver and the penguins. I loved her kit. <laughs> her kits. And then the second week in February, I used this uh, kit from Scribble Prince Co. It was the girlfriend, best friend kits. I love this because it had like this. <laughs> I just loved it. And let's see here. And then on Valentine's week, I used this kit from to, uh, Two Little Bees. And I love her kits. And I did a washi banner. And I like doing those, but then again, sometimes I don't. So uh, I'm not going to say I'm not going to ever do them again, but 
it's not, you know, <laughs> something that, uh, you know, that I necessarily would have to do every week. And this week is when I got a call that my best friend from here, where I used to work, and just in general, had been placed in hospice. And and then this week is where she passed away. And but this is a beautiful kit from, and I want to say it's from either Shop Jessica's Hearts or was it from Poppy? You no, know, it was from Poppy Willico. I'm sorry, Poppy Bullock. And I did another uh, washi banner because I really do love them, but boy, they take up so much time. And this is where I just try just to do my full boxes, a uh, full checkout boxes across here, all my uh, full boxes here, decorative boxes, and then I had a line of just switching between my quarter boxes and washi and half boxes. And I did like this. I really did like the way this turned out. Then here is my March notes kit, my March monthly. I like this one better than I did my February. And this one, I believe, came, oh, man. Uh, I'm not for sure. But I want to say Soda Pop Studio, but I may be totally wrong. But I who I'm thinking it's from. And then we've got our first week of March, and this came from Scribble Prince Co. Uh, this was her first photo kit. Oh my gosh, it was just so beautiful. And this also was after Kayla had got here too. So Jan uh, she got here actually in January. So this year has been a bright year. It's had its downs, but it's also had its bright times too, as as I had said. And and just beautiful you know my colors pink and then March I had to think this is one of my this is one of my favorite layouts I did and this is from Crest Press I use some simply gilded washi I just love this half box I just love the way it came out uh, and it's like I said it's from Crest Press I tried to remember always to put a little sticker their name on their kit so I'd remember but of course I've got where I can tell where most kits are coming from some I can't but most I can't and then on um, this week of March, I loved, loved this kit. This came from Little Miss Paper Ray. I loved the colors, the little koala bears. And this is the, one of the weeks the angel was here and St. Patrick's Day. I just love the way it looks. I just love the pretty planet. It brings me peace. I just love to go back and look at it. This is like a legacy thing that I want to leave to my uh, kids and grandkids. I mean, they may want it, may not want it, but I, I, that's what I'm doing it for. It's just for me, for creative outlet and memory keeping. And then uh, this kit is from Scribble Prince Co. And it is, it was just, oh my, was it from Scribble? Yes, it was from Scribble Prince Co. I'm almost positive. See, some of them I get mixed up, y'all. I really do. Oh, this may have been from Little Miss Paper Ray. I think it was from Miss Little Miss Paper Ray. Yes, I can feel the paper. Yes, Little Miss Paper Ray. And this is where I just used all the full boxes here. Left both of these open to kind of just do what I wanted to do. And I liked it. I mean, it, it, it turned out okay. And then here is my April notes pages. And here is my April... Uh, monthly it's okay but i don't know i'm just i'm just not this was from shop jessica's heart it's not her kit it's just something it's missing to me i don't know what it is and then here we go the first week in april oh my gosh can we say beautiful oh this this kit i believe came from nikki plus three it was either her or uh or uh, uh, Soda Pop Studio, but I cannot, I'm sorry, I cannot remember. And they, I, I wish shops would have put their logo where you can peel it off because a lot of them didn't uh, do that. So, but they did, I did do that, but but I loved it, it was just so pretty. And this kit is from Two Little Bees, and uh, it was not the kit that I do not like. I tried a new way of write, handwriting. I did not care for it, so I think I just it was pretty until I wrote it, as I could say. But uh, so like I said, this week, this year was a week of discover for sure. 
and then this was from Britannia Nicole Designs. Oh, I love her. This kit, it was so pretty, and I loved how it turned out. I used some of the, I know this down here, washi, was from uh, the pink, uh, pink room. Let's see. For some reason, I'm having the heck of a time remembering names today. The Pink Room Co. Yes. And I loved that stick that washi and then this week this is from the butterfly planner and this is the uh, a kit that uh liz had sent me and this was this was uh the week that my world kind of turned upside down this was the week that my dad passed away he passed away at 7 30 a.m on the 21st of april and like I said, I discovered strength that I didn't know I had. This was the week of his funeral, and Miss Liz got this kit for me. I had found it, and my dad always talked about this black horse that he had midnight. And she was so, so sweet. She is so much like a sister to me. She sent me this kit, and I decorated it. And for the longest, it was just decorated, y'all. I didn't... Uh, go back i filled it in months later because i just couldn't i decorated it and it felt good to decorate but i just couldn't write in all the information about you know the visitation the funeral and that week but i had wrote it down to, to remember it in my daily book but i loved this kit and this and this is may this was the notes page here and this was from hello petite paper i love the colors it's not to do with the kit. This just seems to be something that needed more. I don't know. Like I said, my monthlies, I didn't really discover how I like doing them until almost the end of the year. And then this was from DEK Designs. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. And this is where I kind of, looking back, found how I like to plan. I love it to have this little white strip right here in between. And this is what comes, how it's set up. And I just love it. I, I just, it just makes, makes your, easy for your eyes to see, I guess. I don't know how to else to explain it. Like I say, everybody's different. And then this is another kit from Brianna Nicole Designs. Oh, uh, Britannia. I don't, not Brianna, Britannia Nicole Designs. Y'all, I am so sorry. I'm telling y'all, my mind is going. But <laughs> it's for, for, for Britannia Nicole Designs. Same way that, let me find that kit. So I want to make sure this is also Britannia and Nicole design, not Br Brianna, Britannia. I don't know where, where, my... <laughs> okay, but anyway, I loved this baking kit. It just, ah, uh, I just loved it. It was just so nostalgic, I guess. And then here is this kit from Station Stickers Co. This is the first kit I found from her, and oh my gosh, I loved it. I, I really, yes, you will see this is when I really started getting into fall. And this is another one of my favorite kits. And this is from Soda Pop Studio. I loved how, the, again, I had the white strips. And so, I mean, as full as it may get in here, as long as I have those white strips, I have found that I like it. It just seems to make the eyes easier for the eyes just to flow and look and see everything. Okay, and this is where I just glued the notes to the monthly thing because I wouldn't use them. June, this is from DEK Designs, and honestly, I do not care for it, but I had it, and I didn't have another one. I do not like the way this black was on here. To me, it was just too bold. It was just, I, it just, it was just too out there, so, but I used it, and then this week in June was, the first one was from Shop Jessica's Hearts. I loved this kit. I, oh, it's just so beautiful to me. And also, I used some Simply Gildy, Gilded Washi down here. And then this kit was another kit from Station Stickers. Oh, my gosh. I loved. As y'all see, the full got me. The full got me. And then this one was from Shop Jessica's Heart. Look at these colors. It, I just, it was just so beautiful. I used some Simply Gilded Washi. I uh, used her deco. These date cover-up is actually from Poppy Willico, though not from Shop Jessica Hearts. And I just loved it. 
and then this kit is for also from shop jessica hearts because this is my anniversary week and it was for Sally's. i think was the name of the kit i loved it it was just so beautiful i just oh and i believe these date cover up was also poppy willow designs poppy willow co <laughs> okay and then july this kit was from nikki plus three I loved, I thought I would love the lace effect and stuff, but it's just, I don't know. It just seems empty to me. It just needed something. Uh, it just needed some more boxes in here or some, some deco maybe. And then, oh my gosh, this is the first week of July. Or July didn't even start the first, but I tried something new. I put all my full boxes on the top. This kit's from Nikki Plus 3. And I did like the way it came out. But uh, but I don't know. I did like the way it came out. And I did a washi banner. And this uh, kit was from Shop Jessica Hearts. It was the 4th of July. And I found that I liked doing, uh, doing my kits this way too. Like I said, I'm telling you, I mean, planner, plan it, but it has the white strip, as you see, so I love it. So, to me, it doesn't matter how I do the boxes now, as long as I leave this white strip here. But, <laughs> to me, then I love it. And I did a washi banner. And then this kit was from Two Little Bees. I love the colors. It, it's, it's hard to kind of see because they're so pastel. And you'll see I left the white lines again. <laughs> And then this one is a bold kit. And I I think it was from Tr Trick, uh, Tricky Stickers Co., something like that. But it was a bright kit, and it was a lemonade kit, and it definitely brighted up my week. So it was pretty. I did love the kit. And I believe this is when Keith kind of started in on the grooming. And then this week in July, I used another two... Uh, uh, <laughs> Two Little Bees kit. It was her nautical kit. I loved it. It was so pretty. <laughs> and I did another washi banner. And then this one, I, oh, let me go to August 1st. I started liking my monthly hair. I liked this. This was from Soda Pop Studio. To me, it wasn't, it was balanced out on both sides. And I started, I did like this month better. Now, this one, for the first week in August, I will have this is from Sweet Kawaii Design. It was probably just me, but this was my I think my least favorite kit of the year. I I just didn't it, it just it just didn't speak to me like I thought it would. I just I don't know I don't know what it was, but I loved it. I love the colors, but I, it's just too cutesy for me. I'm more of a I think a more natural not. Uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm not as much into kawaii as I thought I guess I was. And then this week's kit, well, this was from, uh, this is the week that me and Keith went to Austin for the first time in Pretty on Paper Co. It was, is the name of the, uh, the owner of this shop. I love the pink. It had a little slow bug in it. It had, uh, the girls, the best friends, the little dog in it. So, I mean, I loved it. We, me and Keith, had a ball in Austin this week. And then, this kit was from one of Soda Pop Studios mystery, uh, mystery kits. I loved it. It turned out so pretty to me. And then, this kit was from Nicole Alexia Design. This is when I discovered Nicole Alexia Design. Oh, my gosh. I love her kits and her stickers. Her stickers are glossy, but it's a thin glossy. It's like Scribble Prince Co. Paper. It's very thin. It's not bulky. I, I just love it. And I love to these colors. And then we come to September. September, I'm I, I'm liking the monthly. It's okay. I mean, it's it's to me, this side is unbalanced with this side. But, I mean, I use the deco. I'm liking, I'm figuring out I need to use some deco to kind of balance it out. Then this is the, oh my gosh, this was from Poppy Willico. This was her girl boss. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that kit. I loved it. I used some Simply uh, Gilded Washi in here too. It was just so beautiful to me. And then another 
this week in September, I used the Nicole Alexia Designs. I love these orange colors. And usually I'm not an orange person, to be honest, but these colors were just so beautiful. I loved it. And then this was a Soda Pop Studio uh, mystery kit. And I used it. As you see, I love it. I loved how the lines, like I said, going back is where I discovered my planning style that I loved was leaving these lines. To me, it just makes so much easier for your eyes to flow over the layout. And then this week in September, this was uh, Poppy Willico. And I, oh my gosh, y'all. Butterflies. Can, can Do I need to say any more? Oh my gosh. And then this. Sorry. Keith's phone's going off. Okay, and on this week in September, this was the Keith's birthday week, and I used this kit from Wild Summer Designs and some overlays to, for the fall. And it just reminded me of his childhood, of a car his dad used to have, and that's the reason I used it. I loved this layout. This is one of the, my favorite layouts in, in, in this planner. October monthly, I used a... A monthly kit from Planting Roses. i am be honest, I just, I thought I would love it. But when I got it, I just, I don't know. It just didn't jive with me. But, I mean, I love this girl. I just, I don't know. It just needed, it needs something to me. <laughs> then, this first week of October, I used this kit from Nicole Alexa Designs. Again, like I said, I had discovered her. And, oh, my gosh. There's no going back. And then, um, this week of October, I used, uh, this kit from, uh, Scribble Prints Co. for relax, re uh, re relaxation. I believe, yes, this is the week that m me, Keith, Tanya, and, uh, Tanya's husband, Roy, met up in Austin. And, oh, my God, we had so much fun. So, this is the week I rested up from so much fun, and I love these these kids. I just loved it. I love this double box here. It was just so good. I love it. And then this kit, I can't. I think it's from my same shop. Trick, uh, tricky stickers, tricky sticky stickers, or something like that. But I just love the butterfly. I love the Victorian old style coloring of it. It's just so pretty to me, and it's just. I love the way it came out, and another one of my favorites, and just as your wings already exist, all you have to do is fly, I just, it was beautiful to me, this is a Poppy Willow Halloween kit, I love these little lashes on this owl, it was just so pretty, it was silver full, silver full is not my favorite, I'm a gold girl, I have found out that I'm a gold girl. And now this is from, this kit is from Sticker Bloom, uh, Sticker Bloom uh, Co. And oh my gosh, I did love this monthly kit. I did, I did really like it. I love the colors. I think all the, she, the colors she used for the date dots kind of contrasted. I just, this was a good month. So, then, here we go. Here is the actual week of Halloween. I use this beautiful pastel kit from Caress Press. I'm not a big into Halloween, so I thought this fit me perfectly with the pink and the purples and all the different colors. I loved it. And then, oh, this autumn kit I has to be one of my favorite ones. It's from Scribble Prince Co. I love the fact that it had the love bug here. It says, I love fall. And, uh, and this would have been Dad's birthday on November the 6th. I just, it just, I just loved to get. I loved how it came out. Then on um, this week of November, I used this kit from uh, Soda Pop Studio. I loved it. Oh my gosh. And as you will see, I started, where did I start? Right here was 14 days from Thanksgiving. And these were from Nicole Alexia Designs that I had got these from. They started using those, and so I all the way across here. And you see, I can use some of these Exo Mama Plans uh, bowls. I love her uh, her bowls, and her kits are awesome. 
And then this is Thanksgiving week. I was having a planner crisis at the moment. <laughs> Not really crisis, but I just didn't know, you know, I, if I was needed to go back to doing no white space or what my actual style was. I had watched so many people and got so many ideas about what I want to know what I like. And that's what kind of made me go back and figure out what I liked. And so, and then, oh my gosh, y'all, look at, oh, this was Thanksgiving week, but I didn't say that. Look at this kit. Oh my gosh. My favorite monthly kit besides the plan. My January. I started out with the favorite and ended with the favorite. This to me turned out perfect. I loved it. Oh my gosh. It was just so pretty to me. And then here we go with uh, the first week after Thanksgiving. This is from the Deck the Halls kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. And as y'all know, she has she fast became one of my favorite shops and i just loved the way this kit came out and as i see you see the white space is left in between and i just love that look and i'm just i'm just happy to to finally figure out what i like what is my style and of course that could change planners change i think that's just part of being a planner <laughs> and this is the first time i had used the from this company plush paperies Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. It was not a full kit. I used, I uh, started out on this right here from Rose Colored Days, the countdown from Christmas. But I put little, little, little bits of foil here and there in with some Simply Gilded Washi, some Jadora Planning uh, icons. But it was just, it's just so pretty. The colors, I just loved it how it came out. And then this is a, uh, the week before Christmas Eve, this is the Sugar Plum from Scribble Prince Co. I believe it was called Sugar Plum. I can't, oh my gosh, y'all. I just loved this kit. I just love the dog, the girl. This It was just so pretty. I just love the way it came out. And then this was the week that uh, my family, me, my kids, and my grands had our Christmas celebration due to work schedules. And I used this kit, my first kit from The Giving Girl. And oh my God, I loved it. And uh, need I say more? I if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me. I love Chihuahua. I have a long hair Chihuahua, a uh, toy Chihuahua right now. Her name is Tay Tay, or Tallulah Mae Graves is her official name. We call her Tay Tay. And before that, we had a short hair Chihuahua that we had for 16 years that passed away a couple of years ago. But anyway, I just had to, when I seen this kit, I just had to get it. And this was a very fun week. We celebrated our Christmas on the 20th. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And then uh, this was Christmas week from Caress Press. But I did want to go back and tell y'all a Christmas story. On our Christmas, we had got home. when we had not been home maybe 30 minutes when we get a FaceTime call from Kayla. It was going, what the heck? And she was going... And she said, Mom, I got I got surprised. And I said, what? She said, after y'all left, don't worry, y'all, someone knocked uh, on the door. Well, it was Erin. Erin had traveled 40 hours from South Korea, texting her on the times and talking to her, keeping it on South Korean time and uh, trying to so see what she would think he was still in South Korea. But he surprised her at her front door. And, oh, my gosh, I was so happy for them. So he was home, and they were. It was, it was just awesome, the best Christmas gift ever. And then, bless his heart, he ended up getting sick and having to go to ER a couple days later, and he had the flu. But I did, I, it's just, oh, it, it was just an awesome Christmas. I said, oh, that was our Christmas miracle. <laughs> it was our Christmas miracle. And then this, go back to this, this was our week of Christmas, the last week. Of this planner. This is from Caress Press. I loved the kit with the neutral colors. It was just so pretty. It was so hard to choose because I still have some Christmas kits left over now for next year. But oh, uh, I just loved it. And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to do this week in this planner because I don't see, since it's already in the new planner, I don't really see a need to. So that 
finishes it up, guys. That is my 2018 Erin Condren planner, and this is how it's going to go on my shelf. All filled out and full. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope I didn't bore you. If you're a new subscriber, I hope you will give a subscribe and hit the little notification bell to get notifications when I do uploads. And I love you guys and Happy New Year. And I hope you're having a Happy New Year so far. Bye!